Both gearboxes have grease points located right there and they're at 50 hours. The gear loop should be checked here and that should be filled up to the halfway point. The distributor gearbox the fill point is on the top and also should be halfway. The grease points for the rear apron chain drive are three times. One left, one center, and one right. The reason for that is because there's a brass gear, brass bushing actually, inside there which requires grease every 10 hours. On the distributor, there's three grease circs for the di distributor bars. There's a pillow block bearing up here. And then there's two grease points under the shield. To grease the right side of the distributor, there's a pillow block bearing on top and a four bolt bearing on bottom. And they are required at 50 hours intervals for the greasing. The chain tension should be three quarter inch each way and it is a increased in tension by this spring eye bolt mechanism right here. The axle oscillates on a two and three quarter inch pin and the grease circs for that pin are underneath. All the grease points are stand up grease points and so you did not have to get under the spreader to do so. And those grease points are at 10 hours each. The 16 ton and 20 ton trailing spreaders use a walking beam suspension. The pivot point is towards the rear, which enables the front tire to see less pressure, which means that the front tire will be able to come out of ditches, holes, and terraces with greater ease. Another feature on the spread all spreader is the apron chain tightener. In order to release the chain, press down on your ratchet, insert a pry bar to get your stop away from the sprocket, and slowly let the sprocket turn. That way the chain is loose so you can work on it. In order to tighten the sprocket, all you have to do is push down on the ratcheting mechanism. Another feature of the spread all spreader is the use of composite material. It's a three quarter by six inch tongue and groove material which locks together causing a great seal for the entire box. The top rail is it use, uses a two by four material, also a composite material. That way the manure does not rust the metal and corrode the structure. At Spreadle we use a panel chain which is a D667K rated at 29,700 average ultimate strength which combined is 100,000 PSI to pull off a 40,000 pound load. The T-bar chain is considerably weaker and may cause downtime in the future. On our truck units we have a hydraulic manifold with the, the left side as you're looking at it, controls the bed and the floor. The right side, as you're looking at it, controls the distributor. The pump gets its fluid from this two inch strainer suction line, which feeds from this tank, which is 65 gallon capacity. The filter across the way also conditions the, the fluid so the contaminants stay out. On our truck spreaders, we have simple controls, four toggle switches, and one variable speed. The sequence that we usually go through is we put the power on, the PTO on, your distributor on, and your bed gate unload. From there, you can vary the speed on your floor chain how fast or slow you want it to go, depending on the length that you want to spread. After you're done spreading, you can go to 100% to clean out, and then for the next go around, go back to the predetermined percentage that you want to spread at. 
the gate down until the gate is fully down. Turn your distributor off, your PTO off, and your power off. Pressures you should see are between 1,000 and 2,000 on both the distributor and the bedding gate. Max pressure is 2650 on both gauges.